Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these two blue circles that are tangent to each other as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the radius for this uh, smaller circle is uh, 7 units whereas the radius for this uh, bigger circle is uh, 21 units and moreover A and B are their respective centers and D and C are their point of tangency and now we are going to calculate this distance x that is between points D and C. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Before we proceed any further let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and connect uh, the centers A and B with their respective uh, points of tangency D and C. That means I'm going to connect uh, this point uh, A with this uh, D and likewise this center B with uh, C. And here's our much nicer looking uh, diagram. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius and the tangent uh, will always be 90 degrees as you can see in this uh, diagram. And in our case, we can see that uh, these are our radii and this uh, DC is the line uh, for tangency. So therefore, these angles are going to be 90 degrees. And furthermore, this AD is the radius for this uh, smaller circle and that is uh, 7 units. Whereas the radius uh, for this uh, larger circle is going to be 21 units. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and connect uh, the centers A and B. Let me go ahead and connect uh, these uh, centers and here's our much nicer looking uh, diagram and now let's recall this uh, fact the centers and the point of uh, tangency are uh, collinear we can see that this uh, center a this center b and this their uh, point of tangency they lie on the very same line and we know that this is the radius of this uh, smaller circle which is seven units whereas uh, this is the radius of the larger circle which is 21 units. So therefore this total distance AB is going to be 7 plus 21 is going to give us 28 units. So no wonder our this distance AB turns out to be 28 units. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and draw an auxiliary line AE that is parallel to this uh, line uh, DC that means we are going to draw this uh, line AE where E is uh, some point uh, over here as you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram and now since these uh, two lines uh, DC and AE are parallel if this angle is 90 degrees uh, this angle has got to be 90 degrees as well Moreover, we can see that this uh, is our AECD rectangle. So therefore, this uh, line segment uh, DC is going to be equal to this line segment uh, AE. If this uh, line segment uh, is uh, X, then this uh, line segment has got to be X as well and likewise in this rectangle AECD this uh, line segment uh, AD is going to be equal to this line segment uh, EC if this is uh, 7 units uh, this line segment is going to be 7 units as well and now we know that this whole uh, radius uh, BC is uh, 21 uh, units and this uh, length uh, EC is uh, 7 units. So therefore uh, this length uh, BE is going to be 21 minus 7 equals to 14 units. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this triangle uh, AEB and we can see that this is our uh, right uh, triangle. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean uh, theorem. 
And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg uh, as our side uh, c. I'm going to call this side a and this side uh, b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean uh, formula where our a is x, b is 14, and c is 28. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So this is going to be x square plus uh, 14 square equals to 28 square. Let's simplify. So this is going to be x square. 14 square is 196 equals to 28 square is 784. Let's go ahead and subtract uh, 196 from both sides. This is gone. So we got uh, x square equals to 588 on the right hand side. Let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both sides and we can see this square and square root is gone. So x equals to and here on the right hand side I have copied down this square root of 588 on this over here. And now let's go ahead and simplify this one. Let me go ahead and uh, break down this uh, 588. This could be written as 196 times 3, isn't it? Now we can break down uh, into two separate uh, radicals. Square root of 196 times the square root of 3. And we know this uh, square root of 196 uh, is simply 14 and I'm going to leave this one as it is a square root of 3. So therefore we can see that the square root of 588 turns out to be 14 times the square root of 3. So let me go ahead and write x equals to 14 times the square root of 3. And if you want your answer in decimal, so this is going to be x is approximately equal to 24.25 units. So therefore our this uh, length uh, x uh, turns out to be approximately equals to 24.25 units. So thus our x value turns out to be 14 times square root of 3 units or in terms of decimals, it's approximately equal to 24.25 units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.